What is happening guys? Welcome back to the Lunar Dark Nuzlocke. At the end of last episode, we had quite the intense rival battle, but we came out of it on top. So, team's looking nice. How you feeling about that, Twitter? Holding something, of course. And we got an escape rope. Nice. He's like, I've been lugging this damn rope around for the longest time. Thank you for finally taking that. Uh, but yeah, so I do want to note that at the end of last episode, there was a little bit of an editing mistake on my end. Um, the freaking roundhouse just popped off the layout, but he's, I assure you, he did not die. He's okay. And in fact, looking better than ever. How about it, buddy? Very happy. So, uh, yeah, let's actually, let's stick Charlotte in front. I feel like using the old spider boy. So, um, we've pretty much finished with everything there is to do in the city. We defeated the gym. We messed up those thieves. And we are ready to continue here. So, uh, I believe I have a couple Pokeballs. We should be good enough. We do get a new encounter on this new route. So, here we are at Route 3. Looking like a beautiful day. We did actually hear tales of some thunderstorms and shit that goes on around here. But... As of now, it's looking pretty nice. Apparently, there's like a temple or something. I don't know. This lady's got three of those. Uh, looks like a little ice cream. A little vanilla or whatever. But she's got a bush -oo. <laughs> What the fuck is that thing? Really, lady? You're going to just send a, a literal bush out at me, huh? Okay. Well, that's a level 14 bushy. you got to just be a grass type. So, we're just going to give you the old bug bite. And this should be perfect. So, we are pretty high leveled here. It's going to be nice to be able to uh, get something new to kind of grind up. And next is a spony. I have no idea what that is. I don't think we've seen a Spony yet. Um, we'll just stay in here and kind of just scout out what the hell this thing is. Oh my god. It's a little My Little Pony thing. It's got to be just a grass type pony. It's got a flower on its ass. So that, you know, we're just going to bite you. And that actually kills you in one hit. So Charlotte's coming in pretty OP lately. Wow, we get 630 bucks. Thank you. So yeah, this is some new grass. We do get to catch the first thing we come across, which is going to be great. Please be something neat. Okay, a butt cheeks. We don't we don't want you. We already already freaking have a butt cheeks. Obviously we play in species class, so we get another try. And uh, I think this is one of the trees you can actually use headbutt on to uh, make a Pokemon appear, which I definitely forgot to grab headbutt. I think it was at some point near the first city, but anyway, we got another trainer here. There's lots to catch around here. Oh, is there? I'm excited to see kind of what else there is. There's probably those freaking bushes and ponies, but this guy's got a Zuppy. Oh my Jesus. That thing is adorable. I need it. If, if this thing is on this route, I really hope we're able to catch this. It's level 15 too, so this guy's kind of coming at us with some heat, but Bug Bite just destroys you. So there we go, Charlotte. Taught that thing a lesson. It will not soon forget. I have to catch the new ones. Yep, you do need to catch some new ones. Uh, so we got ourselves a little cut tree here. There is going to be some apricorns for us to grab. Not really too useful apricorns. Oh, there's also a Pokeball. We'll grab TM76 for Struggle Bug. Um, but apricorns in this, there is actually the guy that turns them into Pokeballs, which I guess could be kind of cool. So I guess we might as well collect them for, for that reason. But I kind of wish they were just regular berries. There's actually regular berry trees too. Um, but for now, we just got ourselves some apricorns. So we're just going to return that to its soft and loamy state. Loamy. That's a that's an interesting word. We'll take these black apricorns and we'll be on our merry way. So we need to find something new in this grass. Because the team needs growth. What do we got here? Please something cool. Zuppy, please? Nope, just a freaking pink bud sheep. Get your butt cheeks out of here, damn it. What do we got over here? Oh, it's one of uh it's one of these berry trees. So there's always one on the ground that we can grab, but we didn't bring our freaking giraffe. Um, so unfortunately we cannot reach these ones. They're too high up in the tree. So, impossible to reach. I'm sure we'll get something for that later, but... Please be a new encounter. Come on. Nope, just another bud sheep. So, these things have just infested this area. What the hell is up with that? Gotta do something about that. Okay, we'll try again. And... <laughs> oh my god. We went blue, pink... And then back to blue. Okay, I accidentally just used fever on that. No, um, I should not have done that. It's just gonna scream at me. He's like, you try to give me a fever, you asshole. Okay, be a zuppy. Be a zuppy. Oh, Jesus, it's a hamstar. Well, we actually don't have a hamstar yet, so this does count as our first legal encounter. And, uh, you know, maybe this thing's just super good or something. Who, who knows? Um, what should I do to this thing? I mean, I, I would like to have a hamstar. I did mention in the beginning that this thing's hilarious. So, you know, we're, I guess we're going to get ourselves a hamstar. We can just go for a bite. I don't really want to... I mean, I don't know if that's even... Is it going to kill it? How, Hamstar? No, we can live a bite. You can take a bite, buddy. Look at his face. Okay, we can go for two of those. It actually has hyper... Oh, Jesus, critical hit. Okay, you're, you're, you're scaring me, buddy. I don't like that. Don't do that. Uh, let's actually switch out of here, because I'll be damned if I 
lose a Pokemon to a freaking level 14 Hamstar. Ooh, and it has Rollout. Okay, so uh, we can take at least one more of them, I guess. Do I just go for a quick attack? It's going to be... Is this going to kill it? Ooh, knocks it right down to perfect range. Okay, so <laughs> this thing's over here rolling out. And uh, that means that we should switch into Roundhouse. This thing is destroying me. This is actually... This might not be bad. I'm in interested to see what the hell Hamstar evolves into. So... <laughs> Um, let's toss some balls with this thing. I actually did post a pretty funny meme on my Twitter. If you don't follow my Twitter, the link is always in the description. Go give me a follow. I post trash, but, you know, um, I had a, <laughs> I had a meme that was, like, from Spongebob about, like, the maniac. He's just sitting there menacingly. This thing just has a, a menacing look on its face. But we got ourselves a hamstar. This Pokemon is a favorite pet because of their soft fur and gentle nature. It has been said that touching the star in the back of a hamstar will bring you good luck. So maybe we got some good luck. Anyway, uh, let's name this thing Maniac, because he's just sitting there, menacingly. So, uh, Maniac, I don't know if, I mean, this thing might be kind of cool. I, I feel like I always spell things, M-A-N-I-A-C, alright. Well, we have a Hamstar now, so that, that was, probably could have been a cool encounter on this route, but of course we get the freaking Hamster. It is Calm Nature, it has Overcoat, and Defense Curl, Baby Doll Eyes, Rollout, and Hyper Fang. At least it has Hyper Fang, so, you know, that's not too bad. And, uh, we might as well stick the EXP chart on this thing, I suppose. Where I'm in medicine. In the wrong damn pouch. We have an EXP chart. We might as well give this thing some... A little bit of experience while we got it, so... We're up to five, and we almost have a full team. Almost. And, uh, that thing actually kind of... <laughs> kind of destroyed me a little bit, so we are gonna use... Some lemonades. One for you, you get a lemonade, and you get a lemonade, and Happy gets one. And we're good. I should have just had, probably had some regular potions for that, but heck it, let's do it. I'm ready to battle. Are you ready too? I sure am, youngster. Just staring straight into this kid's soul. Youngster Taylor has two Pokemon. He has a Hamstar. Hey, me too, buddy. I just got my Hamstar. And I'm pretty freaking stoked about it. We are going to go for a Bug Bite. You actually live it, so... This thing's probably like kind of defensive. I mean, it comes with Hyper Fang, so, you know, whatever. We got a nice little stab move. Charlotte grows to level 20 and trying to learn Poison Fang. So I think we could probably... That's 50 power, Fever's 60. Uh, the thing about Poison Fang is that it's actually a physical attack rather than a special. I don't remember if my physical attack is higher. Um, should I just get rid of Ven Venom Drench? I'm going to get rid of Venom Drench. It probably actually would have been pretty useful for us to have. But I feel like I would have messed up if I, for some reason... If Charlotte's a way higher physical mod? I don't know. Screw it. Anyway, we're going into Happy here just to kill this guy. He has a Hamstar and a Bud Sheep. Literally the two most basic stock Pokemon you could have. Leave it to the freaking youngsters to have those. Well, that thing goes down. Get ourselves some experience. And he says no. Oh, shit, it's going down, ladies and gentlemen. Charlotte is evolving. And we finally get to see what this thing turns into. Okay, looking like just, you know, a bigger spider. Got that big ass dough. I like big butts, and I can't fucking lie. Okay, look at that. That is a spooky looking spider. All right, now we have a Widox, so it's it's full on Widow now. Charlotte is not playing any games. Look at this thing, my God. Well, I'm actually pretty excited about that. It is gonna be, uh... okay, so it does definitely have way higher physical attacks, so I guess that's good. Um, it now has Swarm. Did it have Swarm before? I don't know. Well, this thing's awesome, and you're kind of OP now, so we're going to switch it up. Let's give Roundhouse a little bit of experience. And we shall continue. So it looks like uh, we got a Pokeball over here, but that's kind of the end of this route. Not a whole lot going on as we find a free full heal, so... We take those. What does this sign say? Entrance to Thunderome Pass. Th Thunder... Thunderome? Thunderome Pass. Welcome to the fucking Thunderdrome. Thunder... Thunderdrome. Hello, lady. Welcome to Thunderome Pass. The magnetic fields are very strong here, so there are many electric type Pokemon in this area. Oh yeah! Alright, empty trash can. We might find ourselves a cool electric type. I guess that's probably not the best to have our water type in front, so you know what? We're actually gonna switch that. And let's go with Happy in front, shall we? Okay. So this is a new route. We can catch something new here. And uh, we got a hiker, just chilling. I really like it here. Do you? I mean, I haven't seen much because he freaking interrupted my exploring. But it looks like a pretty cool place. Sean here's got a Tauron, and that thing looks like a naked, um, 
like oh, what the hell is the Jengmo O thingy? I don't know. It's probably it's got to be electric type because this guy's hanging out here. Um, I got fucked. Happy's water type too. I don't know why I decided to switch Happy in front as well because that it was basically the same thing. I forgot that it was water ice and even if I was water flying, we would have been in a bad spot too. You know what? Maybe we just leave Charlotte back in front. Screw it. We're gonna test out our new our new buddy. Pokemon could be in this tree. Maybe a Pokemon could shake it, huh? Is that the same as the headbutt trees? Who knows? Well, the time has come. Please give me a cool Pokemon here. We need it. Give me one of those Zap Zap doggos. Oh my god. Snazap. We found a Snazap. Okay. I love him. I, I actually, <laughs> this thing's kind of cool. It's only level 13 and I'm very afraid to kill it. Um, so, what do I do here? I guess Maniac would be our best bet. Um, Twitter, can you weaken this thing? I mean, it probably has an electric attack, but it's not going to hurt too bad. Yeah, we can just wing attack it a couple times, I assume. We're going into Twitter. I don't know. This thing definitely has potential to evolve into something cool. It's like a electric freaking Dratini. Look at that tail. Nice and pokey. All right. All right, Tweeter. Now's your time to shine, buddy. Let's give it uh, Let's go for a sing first. Of course we miss because we never hit sings, ever. It's going to go for an acid. Does that mean it's part poison type? Gets a crit, of course. And then Raps just doing its thing. Um, I gotta be careful here. Please connect. Yeah, okay. So we land the sing. And now he'd do a little nap. So, Mr. Snazap. I think I... Oh, it's got shed skin. Of, co of course it does. Wow. That's annoying. Okay, well, we're gonna play it safe here. And I'm gonna go for a lemonade. I only have two of these bad boys left. But other than that, I have super potions. So, we should be good. We're gonna give Twitter... A little lemonade here. I don't know if this thing... We've seen Rap, Leer, and Acid. So maybe it doesn't have an electric move yet. That would be good news. Freaking Rap taking its toll. Okay, Wing Attack. Screw it, man. Alright, that's probably... Okay, it does have Thundershock. So that's not going to hurt too much, though. We got... Uh, we thick. We're freed from Rap. And time to throw some balls at it. I feel like... Let's go for, uh, let's go for a Dusk Ball. Let's see if we can catch this thing in a Dusk Ball. Because it would look kind of cool. Seems like the kind of boy that would enjoy a dusk ball. And we do catch it first try. So we got ourselves a Snazap. And <laughs> neat. So let's see what this thing says. Snazap possesses two types of venom with different effects in its fangs, allowing it to choose which one to utilize in different situations. It's poison electric type, and that is awesome. So electric rattlesnake, we're going to give you a nickname, and uh, we're just going to name you Snake. S-N-E-K. He's my snick. And, uh... Zip Zap Snick. This thing is awesome. We're definitely taking off the EXP share from freaking Maniac. And we're giving it right to you, old snake. This thing has great potential. Hopefully I don't kill you, buddy. We're just gonna let you have the EXP share for now. You enjoy that. Anyway, let's check this thing out. So, Bashful Nature. It has Shed Skin, Leer Acid, Thundershock, and Wrap. So, alright. That's going to be a really exciting one to see what that turns into. Uh, so we have the cave here. We got this guy just hanging out. There's a river in Thunder Room Pass, which ends in this valley. Thanks for the fun fact. He just tells you a fact and then battles you. You're like, oh, okay. Tony here's got a platy plat. Oh my god. It's fucking Perry. There's the platypus Pokemon. And, dude, we're encountering so many new cool Pokemon. I love it. I don't think this thing would be electric type, but you never know. Bug Bite's just going to destroy it because Charlotte does not play any games. And next is an Angling. We have seen Anglings before, so let's just go into Roundhouse and give it a revenge. We need to, need to spread the love around a little bit. Charlotte's getting, getting quite... Oh, I switched into the wrong fucking thing. The, I, my cursor, I, I messed up where my cursor was. Oops. Welp. We can take water pulses all damn day, you little baby shark. Probably not going to be too hurt by an Aurora Beam. Yeah, it th th does nothing. I, I accidentally hit A again. Jesus, I'd be hitting the wrong buttons because my fingers are fat as hell. We're going into Roundhouse and we're just going to kill you with a revenge. That's fine. We're just getting, giving everybody a little bit of experience, which is not going to really help anybody, but that, that's fine. Your water pulse is cool as long as you don't confuse me and revenge should kill you. I'm going to have some shark fin soup tonight, boys. Alright, so that does knock it out. Down goes your angling. We can actually fish. We did get a fishing rod recently. So I guess we could see what's kind of uh, lurking in this here water. Probably just one of those anglings, but I guess we could kind of check it out. Um, so we do have the old rod here. 
I don't know if we're going to get anything we haven't seen before, but it's worth a try. Not even a damn nibble. We shall try again, then. Come on. I wonder what, uh, since we know that all the HMs are different in this game, there's like they just use items instead. I wonder what it is for surf. Is it going to be like a damn surfboard? Okay, there is nothing in this water. We're going to try one more time. But other than that, we got places to freaking be. Oh, we got one. Alright, we landed a Pokemon, and it's going to be a freaking angling. So, yep, we call that only level 7. So, we're out of here. So, we can go up this way. We can go through the cave. Oh, uh-oh. We have found the, the temple they're talking about. These guys are looking crazy. Aha, that was easy. The Volt Stone has been retrieved. We can now head back to base. These guys are just collecting all the damn stones, huh? You're like freaking Thanos. Commander Bright, we have company. There's a child listening in on us. Hey, you kid, you see something interesting here? I didn't think so. Best not get in Team Solar's way or we'll have to face a harsh punishment. So these are the other guys. We see, we saw the other team, uh, the other evil team, right? Commander, this kid might be working with Team Lunar. They were spotted in Dolphin Forest. They may be making their way here. Is that right, kid? You with those team losers? Oh, he got me. He got me. Grunts, take care of this kid. Show her how Team Solar rules all. Well, now we, uh, we've been introduced to the two teams. We got C Team Solar and Team Lunar. These guys looking like some... Some pretty crazy people. I got a snaz app and a raise. Oh my jeez, that is a T-Rex, and that is unfair. You're not allowed to have that. Um, happy, dude, oh, dude. We're actually in a tough spot here because I kind of think I should kill that freaking T-Rex first because <laughs> that thing looks way scary. Um, also, I just don't know if Happy can even take an attack. But then it's like, who do I switch into? Because Roundhouse is already kind of a little bit dead. I, I think we should probably just stay in here. I, I'm ill-prepared for this. I wasn't expecting to see... To have a damn... Evil team battle here. Okay, Bugbite actually knocks out the Razid in one hit because Charlotte is fucking a, a monster with that silver powder and that high attack stat. So this thing just goes for a Poison Fang. Luckily, it doesn't hit us with an electric attack. And now we just pee on you, which does not quite kill it, but... We are close. I wonder... I still gotta figure out how the hell Happy evolves. I, I don't know if it's through a water stone. I think somebody mentioned that. But uh, we're probably getting to the quite that kind of a close level. Snake's trying to learn Poison Fang too. We got two minds learning that. We have two poison types, which is kind of interesting. But we'll give you we'll give you Poison Fang. We'll just get rid of Acid. Because why not? We need Thunder Fang though, boy. So that was pretty easy. They actually have a really cool Pokemon though. Not possible. Got $640. Huh? You're something, kid. Let me tell you this. Team Solar will take control of this region, and it will be the best region in the world. We'll have things done our way when we want it, the way we want it. Our rules, our laws, and our ideas. If you break any of our rules, you might just disappear. You got that? Wow, I don't want to disappear, man. And I'll teach you a little lesson uh, so that next time you won't forget. Oh. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Now we got to battle. This guy's buff, and I'm afraid we got to battle the whole, the whole damn squad. All right. So, Bright's got two Pokemon. He has a Flock, which is actually a pretty cool looking thing. We should maybe switch out of here because might have just some crazy flying move. It's red, so I don't know what the hell this thing is. Okay, just gonna wing attack, that's fine. We eaten that up. Happy does not care about your wings, boy. Look at them little flappers. Well, I guess they're actually bigger than mine, but that's beside the point. And, ooh, critical hit leaves it with like one HP. What the hell? Well, time to use my last lemonade here. Enjoy your beverage. And this thing probably just going to wing attack again. Oh, now it's going to flame burst. So it is actually fire type. Uh, we see that from the red coloration. So that's kind of cool. Oh, why didn't I use quick attack? Damn it. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's getting pumped, and it's getting pumped to die. So enjoy that, buddy. Okay, one down. And a Dynaball. I have no idea what Dynaball is going to be, but let's stay in here. Dynaball. Holy shit, this thing is going to use explosion for sure. Oh man, it's got to be a fire type. Well, okay, first, we're going to super potion. Because I'm going to kind of just scout out what this thing wants to go for. Let's get back to full. Please don't, like, explode. Magnet bomb. Okay, so we know we can take one more of those. Um, is this thing fire type? Do I go for... I'm going to go for a water pulse. And it's going to Metal Burst, but it failed. You fool. So it is actually Fire type. It goes down, and that's actually an interesting mod. I like that. This guy has a literal bomb for his Pokemon. Happy grows to level 21. Snake grows to level 15. 
And you make me really angry. Because there's a thousand bucks though, so hey, thanks, buddy. I'll give it to you, kid. You're strong, but don't let that get to your head. Soon enough, you'll be under our thumb doing what we say. For now, we don't need to waste any more time here. Let's gap it. All right. Well, cool. So I don't think we're going to be able to do too much in this temple place. We find TM70 for Flash, which is interesting because we actually just got the flashlight item last episode. But uh, let's see what's going on in here. And uh, it looks like there's just going to be this one Pokeball. It's going to be an electric gem. I believe that just raises the power of electric moves. So cool. This door is closed. And that's really all we can do in here. Unless, yep. So we got the Earth Gem last time. Oh, okay, it is it is storming out here now. Let's take shelter in the cave. Here's the Thunder Realm Cave where we can actually catch a new Pokemon too. So we're just adding to the team here. And we need to use our flashlights if we can. So essentially this is just the HM for Flash. And it doesn't really, <laughs> doesn't really help out too much. But I guess, you know, anything helps. Be careful, caves are really dangerous. Yeah, don't say. This guy's got his backpack and his hat on. He's ready to go. Dorian here has two Pokemon. He's got a Gull Kid. Oh my Jesus, what is that thing? That is the ugliest Pokemon of all time, and we're gonna kill it with water. It's gotta be just a rock type. Go in a roundhouse, please don't be electric. Okay, oh, he's gonna bite. Well, that's okay. You're gonna have to bite for at least another another turn after this, and Bubble Beam hopefully just kills you. Gotta be rock type. Yep, that's gonna kill it. So it's kind of like a goal, uh like a Golurk thing. Golits or whatever. Well, what else you got for me, buddy? Next is a Vambat. So, we're familiar with Vambats. Snake is not high enough level to handle that thing, but let's let, uh, let's actually just stay in with Roadhouse. Well, maybe, fuck, it might actually have a scary flying move, but I think we'll be okay. We're just gonna bubble beam here. It's level, only level 15, so, yep, it's just gonna wing attack. Oh, don't kill me. Damn it! Why does everything I touch die? I was like, this thing's gonna have a flying move. I would have been able to live that if it wasn't a critical hit. Bruh. Well, roundhouse did not last long. Why do I, why am I like this? Literally, why do I, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> I could have just easily switched into Twitter. I was like, I could take one attack. What would be, be an easy two at KO? I'm, I'm a failure and everything I touch dies, but, it's okay. We're, you know, it's, it's fine. It's got bloodthirst. What the fuck? That's pretty cool. Okay. So wing attack kills it. But, uh, Dorian, Dorian got us, man. Dorian kill. Oh, wait, we get our first encounter in this area and it's one of these damn Vambats. Of course it is. Um, it's only level 12. Should I just chuck a Pokeball at this thing? I'm just going to, I'm going to go for a Dusk Ball. Dude, I'm upset. I really wanted to see <laughs> what... That thing evolved into, but of course it's not gonna happen because I just let it get critted by wing attack. So that is awful. Anyway, we got we got the Vambat. Man, I'm upset. Vambat, while usually a friendly Pokemon, becomes aggressive when hungry. Though usually sap blood from other Pokemon, having a dislike for human blood. Interesting. Well, let's uh. I'm just gonna name you. I'm just gonna name you Dracula. I don't know. This thing's probably just gonna be like a reserve Pokemon. Because I freaking hate it. Now that it killed my happy little blue boy, so. It actually just got transferred to the death box on accident. That's fine, we're gonna go fix that. Um, so, before we continue, I guess we should just freaking run back. We gotta go bury our dead freaking roundhouse. Dude, why am I like this? I. Not making the best decisions, like staying in there it was awful. I mean, it, I had a bunch of levels on it. I was like, there's no way Wing Attack's gonna gonna kill me but it did hey and we have a dynamite here hello dynamite we've seen these things before that would have actually been a cool encounter this the only thing keeping me going is the fact that we actually caught a cool Pokemon on this route so at least we've got that going for us but for the most part I'm pissed mostly just because if it wasn't a critical hit I would have been fine but of course it was a crit so you hate to see it. I really need to start playing more safe, but you know what? Screw it. You guys probably like to see me suffer anyway. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do some uh, some moving around here. We are going to organize boxes. We need to move you from the death box because you are not dead. Man, we went a whole episode without killing something, and of course, I just had to ruin that. Our huge power roundhouse 
is now dead. And uh, may he rest in peace. So, you know, I guess we can just bring this damn thing with us. It's got blood. The bloodthirst ability is kind of cool. It, it gained health from like fang moves, like bite and stuff. What is? It? What even is that? Let's let's check this thing out here. Young Dracula. He's uh, dark flying, quiet nature. It has bloodthirst. HP is healed when using biting moves. Supersonic wing attack, bite, and sonic boom. So I guess it's you know it's not too bad. It could be worse. But, uh, I would have rather had my damn Aquad or whatever, <laughs> whatever Roundhouse's name was. Well, we do at least get a nice little heal up, so we are, I guess, prepared. As prepared as we'll ever be, as long as I just don't do any more dumb shit. I was going to say we could switch up Charlotte, but it might be a good idea just to play it safe and leave Charlotte in front. Because there might be some electric types that uh, a lot of my Pokemon don't like, so we shall continue. And there's another freaking bush. Bushu, get out of my face, buddy. You can ne you never know with these games, man. You never know. I really just could have gone into anything else and been able to, would have been fine, but of course, I like to, I like to kill things. Everything I touch dies. But, we have this sweet new electric type, who is level, uh, level 15, so Snake, you're getting there, buddy. I feel like it's going to be one of those mods that isn't going to be useful, really, until it, like, evolves. But we're going to see what happens. And I need it to learn a little bit of a better moveset before we get too deep into using that thing. But another bush. If I got a bush as my encounter, I would have been <laughs> would have been pissed. Of course, it is raining. So we take shelter back in the cave. Man, it is dark as hell. I'm getting a damn seizure from all these flashes. But, all right, we're back in the cave. And uh, I'm going to need to use my flashlight again. And let's see what uh, what we missed in this place. So that's the asshole. I killed my stuff. And damn it, I could have had a gold kit as my encounter too. But of course we just get the bats. And uh, actually looks like we can't go any farther here. What, what the hell? What is up with that? Gold kit, can you show me the way? I thought that I was just going to be able to run farther in this cave, but... Apparently, wait, am I supposed to go, like, on the ledge here? No, it doesn't look like I can even go, like, anywhere else. Hello? I need an adult. I'm a child in a cave. Um, somebody help me. Like, am I supposed to talk to this guy? Is this guy gonna help me out? I, we need the HM for, like, sir, we need the, uh, whatever the item is for surfing. Like, what, but what, what the fuck? Hello? You should use flash in such a dark cave. Well, I don't have flash, but I do have a flashlight. So, um, I'm kind of in... Kind of a little bit lost here, as I really don't know where I'm supposed to go. Hmm. Just more rambats. Dracula, get the hell out of here, you smiley little bastard. Okay, wait, if I just go... Yep, this was the way, <laughs> this was the way to go. Apparently, we just needed to go left there. And, uh, alright, so we got another trainer here. I'm still probably just going to leave Charlotte in front because I'm afraid to lose anybody else to some electric attacks, so we're good. I've hiked all over the region. It's a great way to exercise. You know, it's a great way to stay in shape. Hiker lady here has one Pokemon. Nora's got it. Oh my Jesus. That is a Terraz. And uh, that thing's really cool looking, actually. We're going to give you a Poison Fang. I assume it's an electric flying type. It's going to go for a Thunder Wave, of course. It's got to be annoying, huh? I actually really want one of these things. I'm sure you can find uh, these things on this route. But uh, it's going to drain some energy from me. We break through the paralysis, and a Poison Fang's going to kill you. So, dude, that thing is awesome. We have seen so many cool new Pokemon here. Exciting stuff. So we're paralyzed, but... So we have another cave entrance there. We've got uh, some more freaking grass over this way. Let's see if we can find... Hey, it's one of these things, a zuppy. A zap <laughs> electric pupper. I actually really like this thing. It kind of reminds me of like something that would evolve to like Luxray. And one of them <laughs> one of them platypus things. Is there there's not a platypus Pokemon, actually, is there? Interesting. So we got a trainer over there. There is also this cave. But uh, I think we should probably check out the cave first. That other place is a damn dead end. But uh Toron, get out of my damn way. Alright, guys. We're gonna check out this cave. 
Uh, next time, we're gonna explore some more around this place and see if we can find some cool new shit. Man, dude, the holy shit, we gotta we gotta take some shelter. That thunder was way too much. But all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.